All right, so sleep and oxygen. So I know for a lot of high schoolers, sleep is a big thing and it's something that we envy. And although it may not really seem like something that's really related to diets and um, physical fitness, it actually plays as one of the most important factors in this whole process. So the whole idea, let's say you wanna lose fat or you want to uh, build muscle. So it's all about the production of the human growth hormone, also known as somatotropin. So the way that this hormone um, actually works more efficiently is through sleep. So when you sleep better, uh, this hormone can break down, uh, can actually increase your metabolism and break down all the fats that enter your body so that you can, uh, so that it burns off the fats more easily. So when doing physical fitness at home, it is really important to uh, get a plan to also get a diet and uh, make sure that you're sticking with that plan. But it's also super important to make sure that you're sleeping on time every single night so that you wake up the next morning and so that you can actually um, act on those plans because sleep also prevents you from getting sick as it builds up your immune system. So studies have shown that when one sleeps more, they produce more HGH. As one grows older, they start to sleep less. Stress increases in their life. So they have to take HGH supplements. So hopefully right now when you're young, you can your HGH works well and you don't have to take those supplements because there's multiple side effects to those. So I know with high school, there's a lot of things that can stress people out, such as homework and uh, just social life. And this whole online school may just seem like overwhelming. So stress actually can restrict you from achieving your physical fitness goals. So getting a lot of oxygen is really important in reducing that stress because oxygen supplies muscles with energy that reduces fatigue. So stress, when, you, when someone's stressed out, it activates the stress hormone called cortisol. And cortisol breaks down these molecules that are really important for muscle building, for uh, metabolism. So when you have a lot of cortisol, it kind of says that it kind of shuts down the other processes and doesn't really allow those other processes to work as efficiently. So one way to fight uh, the production of your stress hormone cortisol is diaphragmatic breathing. So to close out this whole presentation, we're actually going to do a little bit of di uh, diaphragmatic breathing where we're gonna do a little stress reliever. So it actually gets rid of your cortisol. So first thing you're gonna have to do here is you're gonna sit back, relax your shoulders. So everyone should just sit back, relax their shoulders. Um, so I'm gonna move down the camera a bit. So first, after you've relaxed your shoulders, place one hand on your belly and then one hand on your chest, right? So it's basically kind of like feeling what your, your diaphragm when you're um, inhaling, exhaling. So inhale through your nose for two seconds. Feel your air more in your abdomen and feel your stomach move out. So your stomach should move more than your chest. So try that. So just, yeah. And then breathe out through for two seconds through your puckered lips, like your, um, yeah, so. So it kind of just, it's all about releasing stress. So if, whenever you're feeling like you're really stressed about homework or just school activities, just sit back and just do a couple of breathing exercises and to really just get your mind in the right place. So thank you.